Look, we've all seen and hopefully heard grand pianos, but this is more correctly a gigantic piano, the world's largest and longest. The fact that it was unveiled in a humble farm shed out the back of South Canterbury is different enough, but then there's the creator of this giant instrument, the amazing Adrian Mann. Now, he started on his masterpiece when he was just 16 and still at school. Jendi Harper's been following his progress and yesterday went back to hear the Colossus finally play. You know, every other piano that I play on now is not as good. <laughs> the piano at home is no good anymore. <laughs> this is just so much more superior. The touch is nice. The depth, the feel. That from the piano maker. And this from the piano player. It's fabulous. It's fabulous. It's an extraordinary thing. Pianist Kay Cox says she likes grunty and growly grand pianos. And this, the world's largest piano, is a real beast. Yeah, it's sort of exceeded my expectations. We first met Adrian last year, a young man not long out of school with an incredibly inventive mind, a practical genius. They're, they're actually just um, number eight wire. No, it's a, the keyboard's an 85er, so it's got 85 keys. It's something like a 60-foot radius curve, which is, is supposed to withstand the down-bearing pressure of the strings. Comparisons were drawn at an early age to the late John Britton. One of his good teachers that taught him was a cousin of John Britton. So when she seen Adrian with his ideas and theories and things he made, she was just was so excited. She was, you know, it just reminds me of my cousin. And she was, yeah, she was a big help in his life. Adrian showed us the telescope he built from scratch. Gee, it's, it's so crystal clear. South Canterbury's largest, and the piano he was making piece by painstaking pace. Adrian didn't set out to break records. He told us his project was all about sound. At yesterday's official unveiling, it was all about Adrian's accomplishment, his early prototypes. Oh, that's magnificent. <laughs> <laughs> that is beautiful. And here it was, and he bought it, and he was so... <laughs> so that's that's when we knew in fact we knew early on at Timbury Boys High that this, this was one very gifted young man he began with a bit of Liberace then listened with emotion as others tickled the ivories and he thanked those who'd helped him supported him People like Peter and Jane Evans, who gave over their farm shed to the piano project. I often hear it in the garden, and it's just so bizarre and but lovely. And you sort of the birds are singing, and the chooks are crowing, and things, and you just hear this piano coming from the shed. It's just amazing. Very, very gifted, gifted, and a pleasure. He worked on Craigmore for a year, my our family farm, and he could do anything. He's been able to construct it in his head and put it down there as you say it and it, it, the whole thing's been a success. There's been no what you might call cock-ups, it's just all worked. You've it? built this thing, you know, it's, it's this, this instrument, you've built this instrument and here it is, it works, it plays, it's like a concert, you know, it's a concert creator. I've never, never dreamed what it would be like. And as they admired the inner workings, we had to ask Adrian the question. What are you going to do now? I don't know. It's a dangerous question to ask it's you. a dangerous question. He won't expand on that now and Angeline is keeping up. Well, he's actually already spoke of a couple of things and of course, the not little. She says as the piano has evolved, so too has her son. She's watched him grow from a boy to a man in the four years it has consumed his life. A musical instrument which many said couldn't be made. Adrian Mann, take a bath.